Hey everybody, I'm back here, and again, as I said at the end, one of the newest features that they added, that they talked about yesterday was the addition of ESPN uh, to the Xbox 360 Live Library, which basically means later on this year, you'll be able to basically access, according to what they say, over 3,500 3, plus games, and some bas college basketball, NBA, college football, NFL, Major League Baseball, and more from ES courtesy of ESPN3.com, excuse me, as well as access um, fresh video clips from ESPN.com, so that's pretty cool. And again, what's cool about that feature as well is you'll be able to, if you're watching a live game, you'll be able to chat with a friend or rival or fan, another fan, if you will, or family member online while they're watching the game. Like, you know, like I said, you know, with my dad, you know, I lived in Kansas for about 13 years, and I lived in Lawrence, Kansas for seven. So let's say I'm watching, we're watching a KU, K-State game, I could say, go KU, and say, ah, KU scored on K-State, right in front of my dad. And my dad, who's in Kansas, could be seeing me do this, and that I could, you know, you get the idea, it's very interactive. And it's very interactive and everything. And it gives you trivia. It gives you, uh, let's see, it gives you trivia. It gives you, it allows you to pull up the scores and see what's going on with other games. Even watch highlights, fresh highlights, as they say, from ESPN.com, uh, things like that. So that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, another feature, of course, besides, um, like I said, ESPN. is this feature right here, Video Connect. Basically, Video Connect, when you get to Connect, which is basically formerly the Natal, uh, it allows you to make video calls according to this using, on your TV using voice control and gesture commands for the control. Basically, you can point to a picture with your hand and say, call this person, and they will call this person or bring them up. That would be pretty cool. And, of course, it auto-zooms and pans to capture everybody in the room. So let's say I have my family. Let's, you could, you, could you see, I have a cousin. I have a cousin in Ohio, and he has an Xbox. And let's say I want him to see my entire family out here. The thing will pan out, and he'll see the family out here. Or if he wants me to see his family, Connect will basically use its automatic zoom on its camera, pan out, and let me see his family. And that's a pretty good feature. That's a pretty damn good feature right there. Another thing about it, when you do Video Connect, it allows you to watch movies, television shows, news, listen to music, I guess, I'm not really sure, sports, or it's all while you're chatting with the person. And also in the upper corner above the videos of yourself and the person you're chatting with is the weather. Basically how many, what the high is going to be, what the low is going to be, as well as what the um, city they're in, and I think what time it is over there. And that's a good feature. That's a pretty cool feature there. And this is basically what your menu is going to look like once Connect is added. It's basically going to have uh, the hub, basically, will be, well basically it's going to reinvent your menu. I mean, your menu, as you know it now, is going to be like this. It's going to be more easier access. So that's going to be pretty cool. What else? Oh yeah, if you're a Zoom subscriber, if you're a Zoom subscriber, uh, they're adding music on this year, during the, later on during the holiday season this year. I don't know if it's just... Well, I know Zoom's already got music, so this is going to be a new feature for Xbox Live. So instead of just watching Xbox... Just watching the music videos and stuff you get from Zoom, you'll also be able to listen to music, which will be cool. Of course, another feature that they talked about is the new slimmer, more stylish uh, Xbox 360, more improved version. Basically, what it has, it's had a, it has a bigger fan built in, so it keeps your Xbox cooler. It has a built-in 250 gigabyte hard drive. It has a stronger Wi-Fi connection built in. And, and as well, that's right, the hard drive is built in, the Wi-Fi is built in, so that way you don't have to get an adapter, 
and it's already prepared to be, it's already ready for your connect feature. Now some of you, now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, oh god, that means i got to get a new Xbox 360? No, you don't have to get an Xbox 360. Basically what this is saying is, it's all set. Everything is set for your Xbox 360. On this, everything, basically what they're saying with this, with this new one, with the slimmer, as it's being called, with the slim, it's basically, it's already prepared for your Kinect feature. In other words, uh, if it's like wireless, it's built for wireless, so it's already ready. It's already, basically it's compatible with it. They're saying basically your 360 is compatible, but they're saying this one's even, you know, is compatible. It's already prepared. So, there you go. Like if you lo log in, the menu is going to be the new Connects menu, I guess. I don't know. But uh, anyway, excuse me for a second. I want to check my time. Okay, plenty of time. I got the 10 to 11 minute time limit. But again, that's one of the new things, and it costs two ninety nine. But I've got a feeling it might go down in price during the holiday season, and I might get one like that along with the Connects, because um, my nephew he loves to play Xbox, so I probably figure either put this or this one into the rec room and let them play Xbox in there while I'm in here playing mine. But you no, know, my nephew he might, might he's going to want to come in here and play the new one. So, uh, but yeah, I'm definitely going to get the Connects as well because I think that's pretty cool. That is a definitely good addition to the Xbox. And of course you've got some of the games as well like Dance Look, Central, uh, Connect Animals, and this I think is pretty cool. Connect Animals, Connect Animals as it's called, is a pretty good feature because it allows your kid and yourself, but it's mostly I think a kid's game, to interact with animals that they wouldn't normally be able to interact with unless there's a trainer there. And of course, you've got your sports games, your joyride game, your adventures game, aim, uh, your fitness game, aim, sporting events, and fitness as well. Now, some people might say that Connect Sports is a ripoff of Wii Sports. Well, yeah, in a way, maybe, in a way, some people may look at it like that. But if it's a ripoff, then where's the controls you got to hold in your hand? You don't. You're the controller, yourself, your whole body. Basically, what Connect is, and I'll get in, you know, I'll talk about this in a bit. But basically, these are all the games they have here. They have Connect exclusive games. These are Connect exclusive games. And then right here are all the games coming out for the Xbox later this year. Like Reach, everybody's looking forward to that. They showed an on-screen demo, looks badass. Call of Duty Black Ops comes out this November. Fable 3 looks pretty good. Kingdoms, which is coming out next year, is a, a game uh, created by Cynic, Sine uh, which is a new partner, I guess, of Xbox. Uh, the, the arcade has all these new games. The uh, Xbox Live Arcade has Hydro Thunder, Hurricane, Limbo, Lara Croft, and the Guardian of Light. I guess that's a new game. And Monday Night Combat, all coming for the Xbox Live Arcade. As well as speaking of the Xbox Live Arcade, they also have been announced that there's going to be some Dreamcast games coming out this year as well. I can't think of one of them, but one of them they did announce is Sonic Adventure. is one of the first Dreamcast games coming to the Xbox Live Arcade. I'm pretty sure it's going to be coming to the PlayStation 3 Arcade, as possibly as well as the Wii. So that's going to be pretty cool to look at, look forward to. And of course they talked about Madden 11, Rock Band 3. And, you know, basically that's about it. Overall, I have to say that the, uh, the games, they're pretty cool. The ones that are coming out for the 360 are pretty cool. The Kinect games are great interactive games, virtual reality-wise, for the whole family, especially the Kinect animals. You know, that's a good one for the kids. Uh, but, the one, but the thing that really blows my mind is Kinect itself. I mean, I'm looking forward to that. And again, and excuse me for a second, Okay, I'll be back with part